Howdy folks, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Today we are back at good old Quaker Lake. I am fishing the opposite side of the lake from where I normally fish. Reason being, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but they are going to be launching fireworks from down there where those white trucks are. And uh, we want to get a good view of the fireworks. Historically it's been my experience that whenever they have these events here, the fishing's not very good. I think uh, all the commotion from people and, and everything and the fireworks when they do start happening. I just think it freaks the fish out. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not real too focused on fishing today or catching fish today um, as I normally am. I'm just sort of down here to relax, enjoy the fireworks. But the one thing I really do want to accomplish and knock off my bucket list once and for all is to catch a fish on my fly rod. Uh, I've been getting a couple of uh, casting lessons from a buddy of mine and um, I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of casting it. I'm yet to actually catch a fish on it. Um, every time he's given me a lesson it's been during the middle of the day when the fish weren't biting too good. But uh, tonight we're right here at prime time and I'm hoping to at least catch a fan fish on it and catch my first fish fly fishing. So that's the main goal of the evening. Uh, if I can catch a fish fly fishing and uh, enjoy the fireworks display. It'll be a good night. Setting up my fly rod, and we got ourselves our first fish. <laughs> Looks like a nice little bluegill. Nice blue bluegill. It's a start. He's a good size if we were eating him or not, but kind of nice to catch a nice big bluegill. I've been catching mainly sunfish on the other side of the lake this year. So yeah, it's been a good quality size panfish in the park this year, which is uh, a nice change of pace. Well, we're just trying to get our poles rigged up here, and uh, fishing action, I do say, is a little bit better than I expected. Uh, we, we we're getting some gusts of, of wind here, and just had a few raindrops. I think a storm system might be coming in, which is a good thing for the fishing. It's going to make channel fly fishing a challenge, but we're catching fish. I'm here uh, rigging up this fly. Finally got both bait fishing poles going. Camera died on me there, but I'm rigging up the fly. And uh, looks like we got ourselves the biggest bluegill of the day. All right, well, we've got both bait fishing poles rigged up now. I'm slowly but surely trying to get them rigged up. The, the, uh, the video, the camera, for some reason, malfunctioned while I was reeling this sucker in. But biggest bluegill of the day so far. Plan fish action is hot right now, so hopefully once I get this fly gear rigged up here, we can start catching them and uh, I can catch my first fish on the fly. Alright, here we go, looking for my first fish on the fly. I know the panfish are in here, I know they're biting. We just put on the classic woolly bugger. <laughs> well, <laughs> fly fishing so far here has been pretty tough. Bait fishing, I, I've retired both bait rods. I just want to catch one of these panfish on the fly. Um, they're absolutely, you know, slamming the live bait, but the woolly bugger did absolutely nothing. So uh, now we got on a nice little popper. This is, I mean, a lure that you can throw on regular spinning tackle, but uh, I catch a lot of big panfish on uh, poppers here. And I know that uh, the big panfish are biting today from what I was catching on the live bait. So I just want to catch that first fish on the fly. It just has to happen today. Well, I have officially just shot the top of my fly rod into the water. It's getting dark. <laughs> I'm about to give up on catching a fish fly fishing, man. Ugh. One. I got one of my first fish on the fly. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Look at it. <laughs> a tiny bluegill. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that was, what a first catch. That was on a very bad cast, too. I'm, I, <laughs> all right. Well, fly fishing is on the board. Very first fish. This isn't even a fly, really. This is a popper, but it's on a fly rod. So, um, yeah, our first fish on the fly rod. About a four-inch bluegill. Boy, I could put this thing on as bait. Ah, we're not going to bother with that today. We don't got a lot of time to fish. We're just going to hang out till the fireworks display. Should be within a half an hour, so we're not going to bother killing that little guy just because, um, you know, I'm not going to use him for very long. So anyway, it might take one or two more casts with this thing, and uh, I think we're going to call it quits and wait for the fireworks 
display to start and go back to bait fishing. Well, we got on another tiny bluegill. My bobber disappeared. And then trying to reel it in, I knocked over the cooler. Or trying to grab the pole. I knocked over the cooler and made a big disaster. And uh, the last fish that I just missed was a giant. This one's another tiny little stupid thing. But cast back out there. Panfish are out there. I only have the fish on here. Put on the bright light for you. Let's see what it is. Could be rock bass. No, another bluegill. <laughs> Looks out. All right. Let you go, buddy. Holy cow. I wish I was filming. I just had an animal run by my feet. I think it was a muskrat. Could have been an otter or something. Or a mink. Oh, you know, I bet that's what it was. I bet it was a mink. That wasn't moving like a muskrat. And muskrats usually stay in the water. No, that was no muskrat. That was a freaking mink. That's what that stupid thing was. Holy, I, I'm going through, I'm, I'm thinking out loud here, guys. This is just like a half a second ago. I had my headlamp off, and I just turned my headlamp off, and this freaking animal ran past me. He's in these weeds right over here. Actually, he's where he ran to. Um, man, holy cow. I mean, we scared each other. I, you know, I, I, I saw it coming, and uh, I, I stood up, and I thought it was, you know, going to get scared and run away. It must not have seen me yet. It wasn't until I shouted, and at that point it was right at my feet. And then he ran that way super, 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 super fast after I yelled and shouted. He got, you know, you could see him get scared. Whatever it was. I think it was a mink. Holy cow. That just, uh, <laughs> that was interesting. Alrighty, well, there's, what the heck is that? <laughs> there's a beaver out there. I just turned the light on. Big beaver out there, and I think we've got our first bullhead of the night. Yes, it is our first bullhead of the night. Again, these fireworks should be happening any minute now. Um, yeah, it's a bullhead, all right. Cool. <laughs> Holy cow. Bullhead are, uh, <laughs> some bullhead are nice and cooperative. That one, he wasn't hooked bad, so I think he'll make it, but... <clears throat> man, he was, he was nasty. <clears throat> and he held a bug. Ah! Man, this is turning into a, uh, an interesting night here with that freaking thing that walked by me and <clears throat> inhaling bugs hug alrighty I think we just got our second bullhead of the night this one feels a little bit bigger texting my dad just did a pull check and uh, clearly had a bite <clears throat> it's actually about the same size as the last one just catching these guys on regular old night crawlers too nothing fancy let this bullhead here go you gotta be careful <clears throat> releasing those things because they'll spike you with those nasty spikes they got. Well, the fireworks display has finally begun. Kinda neat getting the fish and the fireworks at the same time. Of course, we gotta keep an eye on our poles. Getting to see how the camcorder works for fireworks, so this is a, a neat test for this as well. This is not a bad fireworks display. Uh, there's really not much of a special occasion for this either. It's just sort of a midsummer beach party here at Quaker Lake. I missed the 4th of July fireworks. I was in the Finger Lakes with some friends. So it's cool I get to see this display. Alright folks, fireworks are going off. And I've got a fish. <laughs> oh, fish came off at the last second. No, it didn't, it's still on there. A tiny little baby bullhead. <laughs> Look at that. A tiny little baby bullhead with fireworks in the background. That's neat. Is this a bullhead or a stone cat? That's a bullhead, not a stone cat. Alright, little Mr. Bullhead, we'll let you go. Are you enjoying the fireworks display? Alright, we'll let him go before he spikes me. This is a really perfect vantage point of the fireworks display. And uh, we're catching fish as well, so... <laughs> How cool. I think 
we're officially at the grand finale now. <laughs> I'm the only one on this side of the lake. <laughs> the only one in the whole area. That was phenomenal. That was, oh, that's not even over yet. Holy crap. Oh my God. <laughs> now I think it's over. That was phenomenal. That was the best fireworks display. Yeah, now I hear people shouting. That was the best fireworks display I have ever seen in Allegheny State Park. Alrighty, well, we're calling it quits here at the lake. We are going to get out of here as fast as we can before all the cars from the beach start coming down this road and hopefully beat the crowd. I certainly had a great night. Uh, looks like the cars are already coming down from the beach, so I don't think I acted fast enough. But I had a great night, caught some panfish, messed around with the fly rod for half the time. Probably could have had uh, a lot more panfish if I had focused on bait fishing. But I'm happy. The fireworks display was phenomenal. Had a great vantage point. This is the perfect spot to watch the fireworks. And uh, we caught some fish. Caught my first ever fish on the fly rod. And uh, I also caught my first ever fish during a fireworks display. So it was a fun evening. Saw some wildlife. Had a mink run right in front of me. Scare the crap out of me. It was overall just a good time. So we'll catch you guys. In the next fishing adventure, be sure to subscribe.